Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today on Royal.MineCadia.com for the long-awaited return of the faction series, guys. Like, I did a little warm-up series a couple weeks ago to prepare for this map of factions. If you guys want to come check out the server, be sure you are using the IP Royal.MineCadia.com that does directly support me. And if you guys are no hashtag Team Royal, I would greatly appreciate it. As well as if you guys are brand new to the server and you just hop on, if you want some free stuff, slash redeem royal, just like that, click this wool, and it starts you off with like uh, 250 coins and $10,000. Now, you guys can see the chat's going kind of crazy right now. The server literally barely released a couple minutes ago, and I have yet to do anything. There's a lot of PvP on the server as well, if that's what you guys are into. The PvP on here is crazy. There's like masks, there's pets, there's custom sets, and not to mention a grip of enchants. Now, I haven't played any map of Minecadia ever, and this is their fourth map, so I'm gonna be like pretty far behind the curve like of all the top players, okay? Because I don't really entirely know what's going on just yet, but thankfully, a lot of the enchants on here are actually similar to Cosmic, and that's basically where I started my YouTube channel. I've played that faction server for years upon years, so hopefully we remember a couple of them because like making god sets on here is basically basically crucial and maps on here last over like a month usually i'll play a faction server and it's like a week to two week map and then it's over and we have to completely restart not on here this is actually a casual faction server and there's just a ton of things to do so i'm super excited to hop straight into it but like i said the server just released like a couple minutes ago so we have three of these monthly crates right here because i need something to start off with now i have no idea what is going to be good from here at all actually i think the golden knife might be one of the rarest items on the entire server I think that like one shot somebody. I'm not a thousand percent sure though. I've never played the server. So we're just going to hop straight into it. I'm going to make sure my sounds are turned down and we are going to drop this monthly crate right here. And we are just going to start popping these things. Oh my God. Wait, my head is in these monthly crates. I didn't even know that. Wait. Okay. So I just popped everything open. We got a dungeon portal. Ooh. This might low-key be good. Chunk Busters. I mean, honestly, that's not terrible for the start of the map. We got two collection chests, a random mask, $500,000 banknote, a mythical pet egg. Yeah, bro, there's just a ton of stuff in here that I don't even know what they do. And I either have a choice of Dexter's head or Mezoids. Listen, Dexter is a crazy factions YouTuber. So we're going to go with the Dexter head and we got a loot bag. I don't know if that's really good. And we missed out on a perks bundle. So yeah, I think we won. Go ahead, just hop straight into the next crate. I didn't see like a golden knife or anything. So that is a little unfortunate. We got some crate keys out of this one um cooldown shards another dungeon portal and yeah oh random partner items i don't know if that's good or not oh wait my head is here okay we're gonna obviously go with my head and two event loot bags i don't think that's terrible what do we miss out oh they were all two event loot bags all right we have one more monthly crate i haven't won any armor or like any sort of weapon and that's kind of what i want but uh it is what it is it seems and let's see oh we got a rank gem yo we want a rank okay and that's that, okay, that's basically it. The rest is pretty normal stuff right here. But we won a Buccaneer rank. I guess I'm going to be giving this away because I clearly don't need it. And okay, we're going to go with Heroic's head this time and Perks Bundle. Dang. Let me grab this. We'll just claim it real quick. And I got all or access to literally all of these things. It's my first season, so I don't know if I already had access to these but i mean i might as well just claim them we are going to be hanging on to this buccaneer rank gem if you guys want to win this okay you have to hop on you have to be using the ip royal.mincadia.com all right and i guess i'll just give that away in the next episode or the episode after that because i'm not sure how many videos i'm going to pre-record today and let's pop open these event loot bags we got an xp bottle um honestly i'll take that two ig spawners Pop this open, some more partner items, an empty mask. What is this? Yeah, I don't know, bro. Very confusing stuff if you've never played the server before. But I'm gonna I'm gonna learn it as usual. And we got another rank gem with uh oh was that that's another empty mask okay so now let's pop open these random masks i don't know what is ne necessarily good but we got a dexter mask too blinded was i not to foresee the most piteous of fates abilities implants enchanted ability gives reduced incoming damage depending on where's xp level i don't know if that's any good let's pop open this one and we got a parrot mask permanent speed two effect rocket escape three effect honestly i already have permanent uh speed two from my class so i don't think either of these are too good well, let's pop open the mythical pet egg and oh wait it says oh it's hatching oh so we gotta wait nine minutes for this thing to go ahead and hatch actually oh whoa we got a 10 million dollar banknote don't mind if i do bro let's go ahead and claim that asap yes sir now i'm gonna spam open all of these partner items real quick boom we got four mesoid exotic bones aggressive pearl all right yeah 
Honestly, this is some HCF stuff. I don't even know what this stuff does. But since we didn't get anything too crazy, I'm actually going to pop a G kit. I have no clue what is going to be the best G kit right here. I think the Kraken G kit is really good. So we're going to pop that open. And what? Okay, we got another 1.9 million. I kind of thought that was going to give us a, a set. But it's cool. I'll hang on to this stuff until I know what they actually do. Actually, give me that rare pet. I'm going to let that thing hatch. Oh, y'all, I'm taking a look at this set right here. There's Drunk 1 to 2 on this set. Drunk gives you strength. At least it, it did on Cosmic. So that's very good. But look at this sword. Divine Immolation. Whenever I used to play Cosmic PvP factions, if you had Divine 4, you were literally cracked. But there's only a 5% chance to get this out of the G kit. So I'm going to go ahead and pop it. I doubt we win it. Let's take a look. And we didn't, but we got Rage 6. Not too terrible. Just a custom set for right now. We got another Soul Gem that I will obviously hang on to. Uh, can we combine these? Okay, I don't think you can. But I mean, that's fine. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to take a right here i'm gonna go hop into a call with the faction that we are playing with and to my knowledge this is a very very good faction i played with a couple of these people already but let me go hop into the call and see what's popping and what we're doing for the start of the world all right guys i joined the call with the faction and i think everybody's pretty much just grinding one thing at the moment and that is like slash expeditions i don't really know what all of that is but we're about to figure it out right now because apparently on, especially on Star of the World, you get money, you get enchants, black scrolls, all types of stuff. Now, I'm waiting for these uh, eggs to hatch, and then I'm going to head on over there. And actually, let me talk about the faction we are joining this season. A lot of people, I think, honestly hate this faction on the server. I received a ton of DMs not to even join these guys. Right now, we're in the faction I ran, but uh, the main faction that we are a part of this season is Iraq. I only join these guys because I know a couple of YouTubers playing here. I think Heroic's playing with these guys as well. I believe Dexter's in this faction, as well as one of the leaders that I played with last season of factions, highest quality. So yeah, I just kind of hopped on to join these guys, and I think they won the last map. I could be tripping off that though. And guys, one of our uh, pets just hatched, and we got a Kraken pet. Deal more damage to your foes while in water. I think this is like one of the best uh, pets on the server. I'm not a thousand percent sure how to level this thing up yet. This is not an active pet. So how do you make it an active pet, bro? Like I'm lost. I don't know. That doesn't really matter right now. We're going to let this one start hatching now. And then we got a creeper pet out of it. I don't think this one's too good, but uh, I'll just hang on to it anyway. All right. So I was originally going to go to the slash expeditions, but I was talking to Dexter. If you guys don't know who Dexter is, he makes like really good factions content. I would definitely go check out his channel but uh, yeah me and him are actually playing with the same faction so i was talking to him for a little bit of advice because uh, he's been on here for a couple of seasons and he's clearly one of the top factions players on here so i was asking him what we should do because i am a little lost and it's gonna take me a little bit to learn the server but as soon as we do trust me we are gonna be grinding all right and i have plenty of time because there's like a two-week grace period so there's not gonna be any rating for the first two weeks which means we have plenty of time to set up a base and all that but dexter told me on this server since it's not a competitive faction server nobody really shares anything everybody kind of plays for themselves which i'm kind of with all right everybody grinds their own things for the first couple of days so if i actually f who right now i am literally in dexter's faction and i believe these are his alts i'm assuming I don't, or maybe these are players i actually don't know but yeah the reason why i'm in dexter's faction is because everybody on start of the world are like the top players who don't just go in pvp you can go in pvp and do that too but i'm trying to be one of the top players right now you guys know pretty much every server i play i try to play the game like how it's supposed to be played and just progress from there so i ended up joining dexter because he has already started on his own cactus farm if i actually go to home cactus i believe he printed all of this in by himself and i was helping him a little bit but for some reason, my client kept crashing. Like, I'm on Crystal Client right now, by the way. Because this is the faction's client that I think everybody uses. Um, yeah. No, wait. No way, dude. Is everybody on tab on Crystal Client right now? Or is that just, like, fake stats, dude? I have no clue. No shot. Look at bottom right. The, the guy's name is Cosmic Client, and you're telling me he's on Crystal? No way. But yeah, anyways, this is what everybody does. They'll just pretty much group up with a couple of other people, and then they'll go in printing humongous cactus farms. Uh, this one isn't done, but I'm gonna finish this, okay? Because Dexter, he put in work. Look how much this dude printed in. Now, again, I was helping him a little bit, but every single client I was using ended up crashing. So now I have allocated more RAM to Crystal Client. I gave it like four gigabytes of RAM. So if it still crashes... I'm going to be lost. But let me come down here and actually take a look. It looks like we're going to have a little shell set up in the middle of our cactus farm. Again, the cords do not matter. So don't freak out because there's no raiding enabled for two weeks. And listen, there's kind of already a lot of drama between the faction that I joined. And I think I'll get into that more in the next episode. 
but some crazy things might be happening. I'm not even entirely sure what's going on myself just yet. And this dude right here traded me. We're going to ignore his name, but uh, he just gave me some free stuff. So I will take it. I don't know what any of these rune pouches do, but uh, oh no. See, I recognize a lot of these enchants. Not crushing though. That was not cosmic or at least not whenever I played, but silence. Um, I'm pretty sure silence four is the max. Dude, this is just all my knowledge coming back to me. It is actually crazy, but unfortunately I don't think any of those enchants are too good. We do have some mythic runes. Let's pop these open as well and oh nah i think assassin's 4 is good i don't know guys we're gonna get into god tech creation and all that stuff way down the line uh later into the map so let me just store all of this stuff really quickly he gave me a pig pet gain a permanent saturation effect okay i don't think we really need that right now oh wait a slot crystal this is actually a very good item okay i will take that shout out to you and listen we're gonna hatch this egg later because what we need to do right now is we need to start printing because i'm going to finish the last couple of like lines of cactus it really shouldn't take that long now i don't really have collection chests but look at this this thing is already making money i don't know how much money is here but this is basically what people do on start of the world to start making a little bit of cash i'll probably we just print it and then let dexter uh yeah fill it up but i think all of his alts are offline slash near thing uh okay no it's currently blocked okay so i don't know if he has alts on this right now af kane but if we come right here cactus line load the schematic all you have to do is line this thing up like so and oops one too many and boom just like that everything is set up now again last time i was trying to do this i was absolutely lagging like crazy and i kept crashing so hopefully that doesn't happen anymore but basically you just do slash printer and then you make sure you enable printer on the client and boom you guys see that no effort bro this is all you do so guys i am honestly probably going to do this for a couple of hours or however long it takes to finish this farm and then i'll bring you guys back in the next clip because i don't want to be the leech oops i i didn't mean to place that but yeah i don't want to be the leech of this faction so let me go ahead do my part and i'll bring you guys back in the next clip to see what we are doing and boom just like that we are back and the entire cactus farm is actually done bro this is a massive cactus farm shout out to dexter because he printed in most of this i cannot lie but i am playing like a lot of servers at the moment i'm trying to play factions i'm playing skyblock versus series and i'm also playing prisons and i have to learn all of these servers at once so you know the plate's a little full but dude look how much money this cactus farm is making right now we have a bunch of collection chests for all of these 170k 200k 300k right there this one has 400,000, another 370 over there like we are making bank and actually if we check f top oh we were just at number 11 but we did drop to number 13 again this was basically all dexter so it is still pretty dope that we're even on f top but i believe dexter made a box in the middle with four million dollars in it right now let me fly up and come take a look because this is where all of our value is coming from i haven't contributed to this at all all i did was print a bit of cactus and it looks like dexter already has his alts over here as well and here we are it's oh this is a little afk pool okay oh my god dexter set up a blaze grinder it doesn't necessarily look like he has a ton of blazes set up and do you not one shot these things on here whoa what is going on with this dude this stack is flying everywhere but i don't know i'm not trying to grind blazes right now anyway but if we fly even farther up we got some IG spawners placed, um, 119 right here, plus another 27. So again, not anything too crazy, but it is start of the world. The server barely open, so I would definitely say this is not too bad. So guys, this is one method for start of the world money that uh, clearly works because we are on F top and I haven't really contributed. So I mean, Dexter's basically on F top as a solo, but another method is actually going to slash expedition. So we're going to go check this out real quick. I've already been doing it a little bit. I'm only level four. So definitely not anything crazy, but I believe you can progress to different uncharted islands the farther you level up and the more you grind this thing out. So you come way over here to the boat and then you will click this guy. And then I'm only island level one. To get to level two, you have to make it a level 20. And that honestly seems like a crazy grind because these things... I can't lie to you, are mad annoying to fight. So we're just gonna head over to Island 1. I believe there is ways to make this a lot easier. You just need to make a actual set for Expeditions because none of my enchants on this set actually work in Slash Expeditions because it's not Expedition Armor. So you actually do need to craft an Expedition set, but that is something for way in the future. This does make you a decent amount of money. I'm gonna show it off right now. So this wave is gonna spawn right here. I recommend taking a bow because these like undead pirates are crazy like watch if i try to run at this guy 
Oh my god, wait, it's kind of working right now. And he teleported back. Usually these things spam arrows and they are crazy hard to kill. Okay, they're getting a little bit more spammy right now. But I mean, honestly, this isn't too bad. Every time you get a kill, you have a chance of like getting some custom items so right there. We just got a blaze spawner. Let me go ahead and pop a strength pot because that does make this go a little bit faster. Boom, that said, we got two rare rune pouches and a random mask. Now let's go ahead and finish off this last undead pirate right here. And boom, I don't know if we got anything from that, but whenever you kill off the wave, you come over here and you right click the chest and you get even more rewards. That one was only three common rune pouches, so that is pretty bad, but got a free $6,000 right here. So this is a pretty decent method for start of the world money. And obviously the more you progress, I think the better the rewards get. I don't know though, I'm just kind of assuming, but it's fine because if I check out slash PV4, all of these items right here, have been for me literally just grinding here for a couple of minutes. So you can win a crazy amount of things. We have a bunch of XP bottles in here that I can go ahead and grab. You can get partner items and stuff. And of course, a ton of money. I have a grip of banknotes just chilling in here. We can pop open this mask. We got a Davy Jones mask. Yo, 33 chance to negate holy white scrolls. Okay. I don't actually think that's too good. But yeah, everything in here has literally been from Expedition. So we got a perk slash fly. If you guys want that slash bless, like you could literally win everything from here. So I would say this and a cactus farm are the best start of the world methods for money making right now. Like whenever you have nothing on the server, even if you don't have a faction, you can do all of these methods solo. And yo, I'm telling you right now, these undead pirates are low key, dumb, easy to kill. Usually these things have like rapid fire with aimbot, bro. Like they usually don't miss and they are so annoying to fight. But right now I'm kind of running through these guys and we got another perk slash fly right there. Like this is what I'm saying. All of this stuff is so free to get and a Santa mask right there. Two max hearts. I will actually take that mask. That is not too bad. But guys, in the comments, let me know any other tips that you have for Minecadia that I need to know because I'm still trying to learn the server. And let me know if it's worth it to progress through all of these levels at the expeditions. Like, it might get crazy, crazy good at maxed out uh, levels and stuff. So, I don't know. I actually have a bunch more masks to go ahead and pop open and a ghost mask. This is something new and immune to slash NC. This could actually be pretty good i can't lie even in pv5 i had a little bit more uh money notes and stuff in here collection chests more xp oh another blaze spawner let me actually go add these blazes to dexter's farm i don't think it's really gonna make a dent in f top right but it's better than just having it sit in my pv we're gonna come right here place those blaze spawners right there and yeah so guys let me actually take a look at this because you get expedition stars pretty often as well this star allows you to craft a piece of expedition armor Place this in a crafting bench with the regular diamond, uh, like, armor piece. So, let me actually try this. So, if I just make a chest plate real quick, and then we get this chest plate, put one expedition star in there, boom. This is how you get expedition armor, and now you can add custom enchants to this armor. So, you guys let me know in the comments, is it worth it to make, like, an expedition god set? Because I feel like it would make it a lot easier if I had custom enchants on an expedition set. But, guys, for right now, I do think I should run through all of my G kits. Like, this one right here, the Jolly G kit. I haven't even opened this one yet. And uh, oh, wait. Yo, you can get fat six from this. Everybody on the server talks about this enchant. And there's actually only a 5% chance to win it. So let's go ahead and roll it. Maybe we can get it right here. No fat six, but look at this chest plate bloodlust 5 deathbringer 3 health boost 3 dodge 4 i don't know what judgment 2 does but that was that's a pretty solid chest plate some decent snow boots right here some decent leggings yeah this was a uh, this was not too bad the helmet is pretty bad but i mean I'll, i guess we'll take it and actually taking a look at this cooldown shard resets all of your kit and g kit cooldowns to zero i claim that we're gonna pop open the jolly once again and still nothing to honestly i think this was a pretty bad roll but that means we can also open up this corset g set where we have a five percent chance to win divine emulation we don't even need the max bro like i would be cool with divine three but maybe we can get a little bit of luck on our side right here and we didn't get divine emulation but we got rage six crushing five i don't know what the max crushing is but this sword has crushing one and then we got silence two ice aspect two What's the rest of the gear looking like? It's not anything crazy, but we're just going to have to rock with it. We did get Rage 6, which is actually a maxed out enchant. Look, this dude just got a kill in chat. Let me in see him real quick. Boom. 
What? Oh, no, that's the dude that got killed. So, NC... J oh, I'm not reading that name. But, yeah, look. This sword right here. Oh, no, look. This guy has Divine Immolation. So, it looks like we actually got maxed out Crushing and maxed out Rage, which isn't terrible at all. So, I'll go ahead and take it. But, guys, that is going to do it for the first episode of the Faction series here on Royal.Mincadia.com. In the next episode, I'm going to be doing a lot more Faction-ish things. Um, I was just kind of a little confused on what Faction I was even going to play with this map. But, I think I have figured figured it out and there's kind of a lot of drama attached to it i'll explain it all in the next episode hopefully in the next episode as well we can actually get some pvp because this episode i basically just worked on some start of the world methods to get started on the server and start making some money so yeah again if you guys come check out the server don't forget to do slash redeem royal get yourself some free gold coins to start off on the server don't forget to drop a like on the video obviously subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and yeah i guess i'll see you guys in the next episode of the mincadia faction series